If that juicy red meat didn't have your mouth watering in our last segment, maybe what's inside this pastry case will do the trick. How sweet do those treats look? Oh, yeah. That's just one piece of the menu. At the Suburban Farmhouse in Milton, they have coffee, sandwiches, even a build-your-own pizza bar. Kristen Latham opened the place a couple of years ago thinking it would just be a small bistro in a small town, but it took off. Just like Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli did when we told her to go check it out. It's where city and country collide. It's where urban meets edgy. It's your morning jolt joint and your post-work pizza parlor. The suburban farmhouse in downtown Milton is a touch of everything. You would never find a farmhouse in suburbia. So it's stripes and polka dots and, you know, a little bit of snarky and a little bit of ribbing and fun with the guests that come in. Kristen Latham opened the place up about two years ago. Having done the corporate job in the big city for years, it was time for her to live the small town life and provide a peaceful place for the people here. That was this, what this place was about, it was a place to get away and a place to just kind of enjoy your moment and your, your day. Whether that moment comes at the start or the end of the day, you'll find something to suit your craving. We have a full breakfast line now and we have um, a full coffee, espresso, any kind of specialty drinks. Um, teas, hot teas, black teas, cold teas, um, all kinds of um, chais and horchatas and all uh, in a very expansive coffee line. And so you enjoy your coffees or you sit down and enjoy a full line of breakfast. We move to our lunches. We have a, now we have a full sandwich, salad, soups, and then we even have our own pizza bar. A pizza bar with a chef that's been dabbling with dough for 27 years. Pick your sauce, pick your cheese, Pick your toppings. The whole process takes, with the cooking time and making it, you know, to order from scratch, anywhere from five to six minutes. Three and a half minutes in the oven and usually two to three minutes to make it, depending on how many toppings a customer would want. Funny thing is, all of this wasn't exactly Kristen's plan. It just kind of evolved and she's happy it did. We just shifted. We just thought we were going to be a small little bistro, have some fun little home goods and a coffee, something to bite and go, and now it's turned into a full-blown bistro. Coffee connoisseurs like me love places like this. I went a little fancy today, got a vanilla latte. Perfection. And have you ever seen anything like this before? It's called a cruffin. It's basically a breakfast sandwich and a muffin and a croissant all in one. Yes, please. The idea was grab and go. You have this flaky texture of your croissant and then all of your, your breakfast sandwich in one beautiful little muffin. Their most popular coffee blend is their Italian roast. You can be sure of two things about their menu. It's going to stay the same and it's going to change. We have our basic menu and it's a nice size menu, but every day something is on special or something is different or, and the pastry case changes on a daily basis. They do that because of the loyalty of their locals, who, by the way, they know by name and order. Orders are handed over with a personal touch and they're completed in just the right amount of time. It's not, you know, sit down and wait 20 minutes for a food, but it's not fast food. It's just what Milton needed, Kristen says, and Milton is just the town she needed to make this happen. And if the past is any indication of the future of this place, Kristen says she's buckling up for what will be a wild ride. What I wanted it to be when I opened it two years ago and what it is now, all I do is hang on to my hat because it's just been a constant, ever-changing, beautiful little monster. Ever-changing. It's... I don't know. I, I want to see what it has planned for us. So far, it's certainly been sweeter than a double chocolate muffin and livelier than even the strongest latte. The Suburban Farmhouse is open seven days a week. Now, when you're inside, you might see a funky sign or two in there that you like because uh, the place is full of them. And the good news is Kristen says those are for sale, too. All I know is I need one of those cruffins to get in my belly. <laughs>